We just made this three-tiered tray using some cake pans and some candlestick holders. And we made the little accents that go in it too using our Glowforge and some MDF. And we even made these tassels. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Brad, <laughs> do you like to do it, build it, or make it? We do too, and we have a new video every week. This week, we're taking it to a whole other level. <laughs> like a third level. Yes. So we're going to make a tiered tray this week. Um, it was a viewer request. I don't know if you guys have been on Pinterest at all, but if you have, I know you have seen these themed tiered trays. Uh, I know I've seen like a bee theme and um, a beach theme and we're going to try a theme. Lemonade theme. Oh yeah, lemon themed. Yes, so we're going to try our own theme. We have these two Ray Dunn mugs that say adventure and travel. So we want to do like a travel theme. Uh, and it's more like a camping travel theme, I think is what it's going to end up being. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's what we're going to try. And then we're going to make our own tiered tray, as you can see. <laughs> so. so, step one, we're going <laughs> to gather all of our materials. We needed three different size cake tins, pans, trays? Pans. Cake pans and two random candlestick holders, and then some decorations, some paints. Oh, and then two 1 8 inch thick MDF boards. That's it? That's it. <laughs> step two, we're gonna paint our pans. Well, I already did step one of step two. Earlier today, I took these outside and sprayed them because this paint needed time to like dry dry so that when we go to distress it it won't rub right off right so we just picked these up at Walmart if you have cake tins you may not have to get anything or uh, you could get them at your local thrift store so we didn't have a chance to go by the thrift store so we did pick these up at Walmart they were like a dollar seventy and a dollar forty eight and uh, I don't know I don't know how much that was, was. Like eight bucks. yeah that was a bigger one. one yeah First, we rub them down with a 120 grit sandpaper sponge. They had this nine stick coating, so I just wanted to rough it up just so that I knew that the paint would kind of stick. You know, non stick. I didn't think it would stick. <laughs> and then I gave them a couple of coats of this matte black paint. So now we're going to paint them white. And I would typically use our chalk paint. Mm. Uh, but we've been using this chalk paint as we prepared for the farmer's market and it is I just just like literally just realized it is so empty. It's got like, nubbins. Right, I don't even it's know like, why I kept it. What am I what was I keeping it for? I, don't know. I can't I don't think it would even pour out. In case we had to paint one Easter egg. Right. <laughs> Back to white. Yeah, yeah. So since I don't have any more chalk paint at this moment and we're right here at filming, Garrett saved the day. He has some of this chalky finish. Uh, what color is it? Uh, classic white. <laughs> so we're going to use the spray paint to give them a good coat of paint and then hopefully it distresses up well. Well, I'm going to hit everything with a coat of white, right? Um, that, these, yeah, this. Yeah, good point. Well, I mean, yeah. Because yeah. then I would send you right back out to do that right. too. So we want our tears to also be white. This one just happens to already be white. Isn't that cute? Um, but I'm going to have you coat that one too so that we make sure the whites match. Yeah. And then this one will be great. This one will just stress really well with the dark color underneath. Uh, I look forward to seeing how that turns out. All right. I'm going to take everything out and spray it. Even my MDF boards. Yes. That's another tip that we've learned paint before you cut on your laser cutter because that's where we're going to cut these things and then that saves the day. Yeah, you don't have to worry about going over the edge. Step three. Now we're going to glue down the candle pieces to the cake pieces using the clear Gorilla Glue. 
Oh. Come check out. Don't tell him. Is Brad hiding? <laughs> Brad, what are you doing laying down on the job? <laughs> That's so funny. I'm gonna stand him right here. He needs a bigger Brad. Well, that was an inch and a quarter Brad. <laughs> I'm still thinking. Set this aside and let it dry. You just want to put it up here next to Brad? Yeah. Brad, keep an eye on this thing. <laughs> Step four. Now we're going to make all of our cuts. I'm taking this board over to the glue fort. I already painted it and masked it off. And I'm going to cut out all of our little Jim Jam pieces. All of our little trinket things. Yes, all of our little themed accents. The themed accents. That's Isn't better. That better? <laughs> Step five. Now it's time to paint. All of our little pieces are back. I masked it off so I can pull it out a lot easier. Otherwise I'm chasing all these little pieces. Now we're gonna paint. We're really just using uh, black and red. Yes, and that's a our... little touch of gray. It's feeling late summer. A little chill in the air. Feeling a little red and black. Wake up in the morning, it's a little cold. Got the dew on your shoes that are outside the tent. I'm just gonna keep going with that. Very descriptive. Very descriptive. Felt like I was already camping. Step six. <laughs> now we're gonna glue it down, all those little pieces. Do you know what my anti superpower is? Putting lids on. Yeah, I was gonna say, Garrett knows. <laughs> I cannot put a lid on straight for anything. Well, that won't work just because I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Not to save her life. If somebody had a gun to my head and they're like, put the top of this bottle on her, Garrett's <laughs> dying, I'd be dead. I would be dead. <laughs> you might. I am terrible. I don't know what the problem is. But I do have a good superpower. You want to tell them what my actual superpower is? Finding a parking spot. Any, the closest parking spot. Anywhere, anywhere we go, any time of year. I don't care if it's Christmas at the mall. Right up front. Right up front. <laughs> do you have a superpower? Tell me about your superpower. Yeah, do you have a superpower? Garrett, you want to tell them what your superpower is? Finding stuff at Ross. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my superpower. I imagine what I'd like at Ross, and then I can find it. I don't care if it's a basketball. Yep. I don't care if it's a specialty. I don't. I don't even know. Anything that I want. Some random thing that he thinks could be found <clears throat> at Ross could potentially be there. Um. Yeah, I enjoy the Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just think it's funny because when we do need something and I'm like, well, we can go check Ross if you'd like because it's right up the street. He's like, all right, hold on. I have to visualize. <laughs> I have to do it. I have to visualize that it will be at Ross. And it's almost always there. It is his superpower. Now you guys learned something new about us. <laughs> yeah, we're superheroes. We so you got to tell us what your super your superpower is. Do you have good parking? Can you find stuff at Ross? Can you find your car keys? I mean, maybe you got something cooler. Maybe you can actually fly or something. All I've got is good parking. <laughs> if you can actually fly, let me know. <laughs> Hit me up. How cute they are. Step seven, and now we're gonna distress it. I tried to put a few light coats of paint on there so it doesn't chip off in some spots. So we'll so. just have to see.
All right, what do you think? I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I, it's got a bunch of dust right there. Can you kick that out? Yeah, I think you're going to see it. Yep, I got it. Step eight. And now we're going to decorate it. We're just going to put the things we painted. Oh, I have something jam. I haven't done yet. What? I want to make beads. Oh, you're going to make beads. I want to make beads. Okay. Well, step eight, we're making beads. Yeah. I, I know if you've seen these, you see all of them have these strung beads in them. So do I make them black? I need to make them black. You're never going to want to paint all these little balls, right? No. Can't we string them together and then I'll spray paint them? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right. S some going to be black, some going to be white. Um, yeah, it would be nice if they were like black and white. So you want to just separate half of them? And how are you going to do that? Just kind of shake them around? I don't know. Last step. I lost count, so we're just saying last. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bring it together. We're going to make all those little wooden beads that we had into a string of beads. Yes some tassel. I can say that some of our beads didn't... <laughs> what happened to some of our beads? Huh? <laughs> they're not... They're, uh, they're a lackluster paint job. On we some. Are, the black uh, ones look great. We're like out of white paint in the house. Right? Like <laughs> no white paint <laughs> in this house. None. All out. <laughs> Clean. No. Cleaned out. I have... A white paint marker, which I, I think was, I will use to clean up some of these beads. Yeah, I wasn't going to use the white paint marker mm -hmm. on the beads. That seemed a little tedious. <laughs> All right, so let's start with our making our tassel right. for our end of our beads. All right, so we're going to use a book or something to wrap it around. So I happen to have this sitting here because I think I'm going to use it as an accent. So we're going to use this little box here. Can you see the size of it? To it's wrap like six our... Six by six? Yeah. Yeah, like six by six. So I'm just going to wrap my tassel around here. How many times do you think? 120. Oh my. That's it. 20. Just 20? <laughs> Hope you fast forward this then. <laughs> here. Um, yeah, I was going to say, why don't you help me? Oh. Right, tell me when to stop. This is not fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, that's good. I think okay. that's thick. Okay, so let's cut that about right there. Actually, let's cut that down here where it's gonna be cut. Let's do that. Okay, let's get a piece of this to tie the top. Get ready for that. I'm gonna slide this off. Wait, you want me to do it here? I'll just tie it right here. Okay, yep. <coughs> Working that thing. I was gonna say, why don't you let me uh, slide it off? Get the thing down for the end of the right. Tie it here. Give it a little nippy knot. Use that kind of knot. I don't know what kind of knot that is. Now I'll finish my knot up here. Are you in the Navy? Don't you know all the knots? I do know all the knots. All of them. <laughs> Don't test me on no knots. Hold on, this is all I know stuff. the box knot, the square knot. That one's where you spin your partner round and round. <clears throat> okay, so this looks like a mess. Oh, we're not done yet. Hold on, hold on. Give me a give me a second. We're gonna trim this loop, right? Yep. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. Bim blam. Look at that. That looks like a mess. Like a tassel. All right, so we've tied the, the two pieces together, cut the ends. He's tied this on. So this is what we've got. Now we're going to make the head. So we're just going to group it together. So we're going to put a little piece up here. It's so hard to see because it's the same color. We're just yeah. going to make a little loop right here. A little loop in the jute. And then... 
you know, basically a little loop like this. I'm going to turn around and hold it this way. And then we're going to just start wrapping. All right, wrap over the loop. Yep, wrap over the loop. Wrap the loop into this other rope, right? Yes. Okay. How far okay, do I go? Okay, that's, that's good. I think that's enough. Okay. So now you want to cut that. Let's give it a little bit of room. Yeah. Okay. And now you're going to take, you have your loose end at the top and this loose end. You're going to take that and put it in. You're going to come back the a little bit. Loose end or this yeah, loose you're going to take the bottom loose end that you just cut, put it in the loop. Yep. Now pull the top one. Yep. And the top one should pull the loop through and tuck this end in. Oh, I got you. I got you. Maybe like, what is this stuff? <laughs> now pull it all the way through? Well, I think you just want to keep it up under there. No, just and like... it kind of ties it in a knot underneath. Okay. And that's Maybe. it. Now you just now go. tuck the top one in. And now you snip this one right here. Where? Right, right at the base? Yeah, right at the base. There you go. Now you can't even see it. Oh, look at that. Look at that tassel. Look at that. It's a good looking tassel. Yeah. Oh, no way. Now we gotta string all these. But there's Ooh. like, a, there's a handful here. It's not 50. like I'm there's doing a whole Christmas tree. It's like a Christmas tree. I would like to do a whole Christmas tree. No way. I tried to get him to do a Christmas tree. One at Christmas time, this is it for, to, for the whole tree. He was not having it. No way, this is too much. <laughs> What was that the last one? Yep. That went quicker than I thought. Bam! Look well, at that. It's not very many. Sure would like to have more. But that's all we have for today, so. <laughs> Alright, so we need to make another one. Can another do this what, tassel? Tassel to put on the end. Or, I mean, I guess Does I could it just. Does need to be the same thickness? It's kind of big. It's a giant <laughs> tassel. Should I Hold just it. trim this do down? It. Put it between your fingers again. Yeah. Right there. And Oh, who just made the tassels? Oh, you gotta clean up the <laughs> clean up the ends, make them the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sharper scissors? So I'm gonna cut my kid's hair. <laughs> really? Man, it looks looking good. Alright, now what? Alright, so now last step is to add all of our accents to our tray here. Some French accents, some Spanish accents, a little bit of German accents. Or, you know, some greenery. Yeah, some greenery. Put this, these jams in here. Uh-huh. Like I want him down here. He's big. Free. So there you go. Can you guys see it? How cute is that? I love it. Look at those little accents. The thing is pretty big. It's bigger than I thought it would end up being. So I'm impressed. That looks like uh, like a lot going on. Well, that he kept saying, all we need to put is put these in, and I said, no, it'll be too empty. You have to fill it up. It's got to be full. Of like fun things. It's definitely full now. So now you can see the beads on the back side coming hey. around to the front side. See, we got some random chickens in the back. You see so, the chicken butts? Well, let me put my chicken's face in this way then. <laughs> so now you don't have to look at the two chicken butts. There we go. There What's we up, go. chicken butt? There we go. What's on this? Why is this red? Did I put it in some paint or something? Who knows mm, what I, did. I don't know. Anyway. All right. 
Looks like we're about out of time again. <laughs> we have to go eat some dinner, make some dinner, and then eat some dinner. So we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Should I balance it with all the stuff? No, please don't. Please don't balance it.